What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rotten Russ and you're watching Rotten Metal Garage. Let's get it started. <laughs> figure for now I'm going to try to fix that um, if you don't know what it is it is the battery tray for the OEM Dodge but right now what I'm gonna do is uh, scuff up them cracks and see if I can't weld it back together or find a way to make this piece so corner so to give it a better chance at life I'm just gonna cut it out here cardboard template transfer it onto metal right. cut the metal out check Cut the cancer away from the flesh. Put the patch in its place. But we got us a little divot here. Let's see if we can't do the same thing. Let's see if this will work. So I technically need an L shape. So I have an L shape made out of random nuts and bolts have it lined up to where the press is going to hit just this corner and I'm going to bring the press up put a bolt in between and see if I can't bend it down there we go now I'm going to give it a couple wrenches see what happens so as you can see I got the little bezel if you will that I wanted so now I'm just gonna bend this corner down while holding this side with two pairs of pliers see how that works All right. put it back in the vise to hold that part just gonna try to bend the front of this down to equal this So, I used the head of the screw, just tapped it along that line. Now, let's pull it out. So, it's pretty damn close. Yeah bit of a uh, persuading all right got it in place now if you look it's a nice little bezel to kind of man manipulate I'm gonna weld it up I'm also going to see if I can't clean these up a bit yeah, they old. That's why I want to try to save them. Anybody could buy something new. There it is. Obviously, you can still use a uh, bit more polishing, but that's just with the Brillo pad to get a lot of the uh, white overspray off. So, as you can tell, I still got some things to do. And also inside and outside so now I'm gonna I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is paint the back of the housing I bought LED lights that fit in this housing and they're round so it should sit perfectly behind this but yeah some of the stuff is just all about the elbow grease nowadays everything is so used and throw away I got the 
lights finished I hit them with a um, they call it smoke so you can still see how it's still got the uh, orange tint to it but I figured black and blue keep everything the same uh, painted the housing got the LEDs um, as far as the battery tray started to weld it up unfortunately the part that was still rusted is kind of thin so what I'm gonna do is put a piece of metal behind it finish welding that up finish painting it um, and then tomorrow um, I'm gonna pick up some of more of that uh, spray paint so what I did was I just painted the back side of both of these just to stop them from rusting again you won't see it but at least I know they won't rust any further and then I went ahead and scuffed this one up um, and started to uh, bang out some of the dents like that one was way worse than it is so yeah I will be back with that paint right now so it's the next day beautiful day beautiful hot goddamn day and I'm gonna be out here painting so they say you can't polish a turd I beg to differ because then you end up with a shiny turd I'm okay with that got a lot of uh bumpies but I tried to straighten it out as best as I could that one's completely missing a tab it's all good in the neighborhood but let's go ahead and get this painted then I'm gonna scuff that up and paint that as well so yeah let's do that gonna take a lot of <laughs> elbow grease to get uh, paint worthy but uh, start uh, sanding it down scuffing it obviously I gotta focus more on this side alright got her all nice and scuffed up the side like I said it was pretty bad I was able to get all that it looked like epoxy and I'm not even sure what was really on it but uh just have to hit this little corner a little more before I paint it I'm gonna try to see if the OEM um, wiper assembly will fit so let's try that right now moment of truth I got one side in but it's barely too long damn it you can see it right there um, so actually I think before I paint this I'm gonna cut this out move it to where it lines up Weld it all back in. Glad I checked that before I painted it, huh? Let's do that. Got it marked out. Now we cut.
put it where it needs to go. That side's in. Now it's lined up. So what I did was I marked it where I'm going to need to patch it. And then I just traced what was extra on this. So now I'm going to cut this out. Try to use that as a patch on this side and weld that in the spot. So, yep, that's what we're doing next. All right, got this piece cut out, moved over, and then now I can go ahead and start tacking this piece in. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the wiper assembly in it so I know that I get the uh, space just right before I tack it in. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and tack this space in. So let's do that. All right, there it is. Now, obviously, it's not the greatest welds. Never said I was the greatest. But it will hold and it will do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw the floppy disk on the grinder. Try to get some of that down. And I might have to go to a store and get some Bondo but we'll see how good I can get this cleaned up. It's not the best, but it'll work. That is the original Chrysler 300 windshield wiper assembly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sort of a base coat. I'll sand it one more time and then I'm gonna paint the whole thing. So, with this being the motor being so big, I'm going to have to cut, I'm assuming, I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to try to leave enough room for this part to pop in. Um, if I have to, I'll weld the tab back in here wherever this lays. But I'm going to cut out all of this including these inner tabs and all of this to see if the shroud will go back in so I'm gonna start cutting that out and see where I need to go from there obviously got a little more twerking to do on that side yes that's a twerking um, obviously I'm gonna have to box all that in but this part just slides up underneath the window seal um, but there it is it's in and my plug is right here so I'll probably leave this part open so I can still plug it in. Maybe just put a uh, a grommet or something to where I can get that plug in there. But there it is. Now that I know I have the basic shape of what I need, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this off and do what I was going to do in the beginning, which is paint it. Right now. All painted with the lights in it that blue man those two colors they're gonna look amazing together and then that is also painted and I went ahead and hit the top part um, Obviously, I didn't paint any of this because I still got to weld up a box and everything for that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put that up there just so it's out of the way for now. But, yeah. Man, that blue is sick. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Alright, so 
There's that all finished up. I'm waiting for that to dry, sand it, paint it. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. So remember, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that like button if you like my content. Stay tuned because I have another video that I'm going to be dropping in the next couple of days. And if you guys have any comments on what you think I should do or not do, um, I'm always open. So go ahead and drop a comment below. And thanks for watching, guys.